Hi, I'm Cecil Moranville, and you're listening to Verse by Verse. Psalm 10 is about oppressors. That's not a word we commonly use today. We are more familiar with bullies or abusers. These words mean essentially the same as the way oppressors is used in this psalm. Have you, or has someone you know, suffered at the hands of a bully or an abuser? Have you wondered why God allows such things to happen? Why does God allow innocent people to suffer? Today we will look at what Psalm 10 says about this question. But first, let's consider just one example of unimaginable suffering caused by oppressors in today's world. That is the war in Darfur, a province in western Sudan. War might be called the ultimate form of bullying or oppression. According to the United Nations, a crisis of epic proportions is occurring in Darfur, where fighting has continued off and on for over 20 years. The African Union soberly assesses that it will take generations for Darfur to rebuild to its pre-war state when the fighting actually ends. More than 8.5 million citizens have been forced to leave their homes. It's difficult to grasp the personal stories represented by that figure. That number is about equal to the entire population of the U.S. state of Virginia. Imagine every man, woman, and child of Virginia forced to leave his or her home. Why does God allow such suffering? I don't want to overwhelm you with statistics or actually numb the stories by using too much data, but currently one half of Darfur's 25 million citizens need life-saving assistance. That's 12 and a half million people. They are facing extinction. The militias fighting each other there deny charities from being able to deliver food and drink to people. Doesn't that touch you deeply? It certainly amplifies the question, why does God allow the oppression, the bullying, the abuse of any innocent person, whether a large group or an individual? Psalm 10 is one of many scriptures that speak to those difficult questions that begin with, why does God allow? The writer of this psalm offers three perspectives, that of an observer, that of the bullies themselves, that of the victims who pray to a seemingly silent God for his intervention. The bully sneers at any suggestion that he might be called to account for his actions. The observer begins the psalm with questions. Why do you stand afar off, O Lord? Why do you hide in times of trouble? Then the observer focuses our attention on how the bully thinks. He has no respect for or fear of God. God is in none of his thoughts. Verse 4. The bully sneers at any suggestion that he might be called to account for his actions. He arrogantly does whatever he chooses to people who cannot escape him. If he has any thought about God, it is, God has forgotten. He hides his face. He will never see. Verse 11. The next few verses, 12 through 15, give the perspective of the innocent victim. It is a plaintive prayer for God's rescue. One translation of verse 12 has, Arise, O Eternal, my true God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the downtrodden. Other translations have the oppressed, the helpless, or we could just as well say the bullied or the abused. Then the observer switches to a firm statement of conviction that God will stop the oppressors. And that brings us to today's scripture, Psalm 10, verses 16 through 18. These verses confidently declare, The Lord is King forever and ever. The nations have perished out of his land. Lord, you have heard the desire, that is, the longings, of the humble or the oppressed or abused. You will prepare their heart. You will cause your ear to hear, to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may oppress no more. That's good news. It speaks not of snatching the wounded away to heaven, but of a kingdom on earth that will bring all forms of oppression, bullying, and abuse to a full stop. When will God take this action? Soon, according to the gospel Jesus preached. See the show notes for links to several articles on why God allows suffering and for additional ones that explain when, 
how and where God will establish His kingdom. Verse by Verse is a companion podcast to the Daily Bible Verse blog, which you can find on the Life, Hope, and Truth Learning Center. Check out the show notes for more.